guilty on all counts. The eye drops homicide trial ends with Jesse Kershevsky breaking down in tears as she was taken back to her jail cell. Fox 6's Brett Lemoyne was in court today when that verdict came down. Brett, how long did it take for the jury to reach the decision? You know, Stephanie, after roughly 11 hours of deliberation across two days, a jury of seven men and five women sat silent as Judge Jennifer Doro read their verdicts in court. Jesse Kersheski broke down in tears. At times, that was the only sound that you could hear in the room. Ultimately, the jury determined Kersheski poisoned her friend, Lynn Hernan, with eye drops. She stole tens of thousands of dollars from Hernan's bank account while she was alive. Kersheski forged Hernan's signature and took out loans and credit cards in Hernan's name and also stole thousands more from Hernan's estate. The defense brought in witnesses to testify Hernan was sick and suicidal. Hernan died in October of 2018. At the time, police thought her death was a suicide. It wasn't until months later when toxicology reports came back and a second beneficiary of Hernan's will started asking some financial questions that the death was ruled a homicide. Anthony Poza spent every day in the courtroom. Poza was close friends with Hernan. Kersheski took money from Hernan's estate that should have gone to him. She was a compassionate, humble, and very generous person. She would give you the shirt off her back if she knew it would look good on you. When I learned of Lenny's passing, I immediately knew something was awry and not reality. I thank God every day for the detectives and DA that represented this case. I think that we going into it believed the financial aspect was the motive for the murder. But our team has discussed this and we really believe that the defendant's own statements in this case were extremely compelling evidence. Now, the penalty for the homicide alone is life in prison. Sentencing will take place on December 7th. The defense was invited to speak after today's verdicts were read, but they did not show up in the media room. Prosecutors today also said they have not ruled out additional charges in this case, specifically against Kersheski's mother. Reporting live in Waukesha, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. We'll see if that goes anywhere. Brett, thank you.